Well, heart failure that we're talking about today is the heart has been damaged so that it's not pumping to capacity. It's a chronic and progressive illness. And what our patients tell us is that they're short of breath doing their regular activities, that they get fatigued during their activities, that they're having more swelling to deal with. And as the disease gets worse, they start to have these symptoms just walking across the room. And then finally, at rest, having a conversation or being woken up in bed with these symptoms. Well, we, we've seen a statistical uptick in heart failure admissions after the 4th of July. We can just presume that, that uh, the dietary indiscretions are, what are what's getting us there. Just picture your average barbecue full of barbecue, barbecue sauce, um, salted corn, hot dogs, bratwurst. So there's a huge sodium load that goes in. And uh, patients are also telling me this time of year it's too hot to exercise. Uh, I, I suspect there might be more non-compliance with meds, but we clearly see an uptick in hospitalizations. But I think this is just a trigger to talk about the problem in general. Uh, the issue is we have one million heart failure admissions in the United States uh, for heart failure, and we'd like to make an impact in that. Well, they need to be participants, and they need to work with their, their, their physician um, on these changes they can make in lifestyle. So physical activity, for me, 30 minutes of vigorous walking a day is what I recommend, but I think it should be tailored with the individual doctor and patient. Um, being more conscious of the amount of salt load that they're taking and the fluids they're taking in and certainly being compliant with medicines. And speaking of medicines, I'm, I'm here with Novartis um, to talk about a breakthrough drug, Entresto, which has been shown in these heart failure patients that patients on this drug compared to the other therapies that have been used in the past will live longer and reduce their hospitalizations. And reducing a hospitalization in a heart failure patient is more than preventing an inconvenience. If you come in the hospital with heart failure, you're that much closer to coming in the next time and your life has been cut shorter. So I want patients with diagnosis of heart failure to have a discussion with their doctors about whether or not Entresto is right for them because it's not right for everybody. It's not right for pregnant women. Patients who have a history of angioedema should not be taking this. So I, I want patients to have the conversation with their doctor to engage them about the possibility of being on Entresto. And I also want patients to get engaged and learn more about living with heart failure so they can be better participants. And by going to entresto.com, they can learn how to live with heart failure and be physically active and improve their overall quality of life at entresto.com.